It's the Eastern Conference quarterfinals on this Sunday. Birmingham Legion and Pittsburgh Riverhounds. And with the whistle, we are underway. Griffin has options. Dixon is storming down the flank. Dixon cuts it back. Mertz an opportunity. Mertz around Kavita. Van Okel with a big time stop. The chance. Here's Robbie Mertz, a little weaving and dancing. And Matt Van Ockel somehow gets down and gets a hand on that ball. Anderson Asiadu. Seam and a half space finds Agadello. His pass. Martinez denied by Waits. Well struck by Martinez. Jamali Waite has his wall of four set. Martinez leaves it. Dean. Waite with another save. Martinez has his shot blocked. Little touch to the side. Johnny Dean hits a worm burner. Enzo Martinez just couldn't quite collect it the way he wanted to to get the second shot off. Off by Asiadu, who gets right to the feet of Juan Agadello. Aravo. Martinez, lovely flick. Back to Aravo. Kasim, just wide of the mark. Great. Legion don't have too many options wide. Martinez does go wide. Agadello, Kasim! Straight from the training ground, Birmingham Legion lead this Eastern Conference quarterfinal. About this. Perfect touches from everybody. And you don't think of Prosper Kasim as the man who's going to win balls in the air, but he does on that occasion. Ryan James gives it up. Sims. Mertz. A dangerous ball. Kizza scores! An instant impact for Edward Kizza. Almost immediately off the bench, he ties this quarterfinal at one. Scores the biggest goal of the year for the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Behind Jake Roof and in front of Alex Cronali, he finds that gap. And a great snap header down and into the far side netting. So 1-1 one, one our score. One that pays off almost immediately for them. And again, a coach's decision changes the flow of the match. That is the end of regulation. 15 minute session of this extra time. Blake Gardner, Mike Getman, glad to have you with us tonight. 1-1 our score for now. Larby, Lopez, squares it. Lapa! Bruno Lapa scores. Birmingham Legion back in front in extra time. And then you forget about Bruno Lapa. He scored goals his whole career, and as you see on this replay, he finds that little gap, just waited for the ball to be played, and took it so cleanly with that right foot. Biggest differences for this side this year was the depth that they had coming off the bench this year, something they didn't have prior years. Bellarabi, Bellarabi around a man, Bellarabi denied by the foot of weight. What a save. Lapa went down, referee allows play to continue and got in the way of Aravo. Aravo down behind the play, Pittsburgh attacking. Yang across the face of goal, it's in! It's Kizza again for the second time tonight. Edward Kizza levels the match. I do think the referee's feeling it as well. He's gonna take a minute or two here just to collect himself because he got hit in the head. A 
huge break for Pittsburgh as Kizza started the attack. And a defensive midfielder for Birmingham was down. And Kizza, who started the attack, eventually Mike finishes it as well. Kizza has been Mr. Instant Impact. Nearly his first touch in the game scored. And now the second time the ball got served into him, he's put that in the back of the net as Lopped into the penalty area. Danger around the six yard box and finally cleared away by the Legion and that brings extra time to a close. It's the Cameroonian William E. Yang. Can he send Pittsburgh through? He can't! Spangenberg again! The Birmingham captain, Fonwell Cavita. Cavita scores! How about these Birmingham defenders in this PK shootout? Shootout going. Keep Pittsburgh's hopes alive. Peters, yes! Just his eighth game all season. And DuPont is saved. Wait, his third stop of the shootout. You have to feel good. But when it doesn't go in, it's certainly not a comfortable feeling as his teammates. Kizza scores. Pittsburgh are through to the Eastern Conference semis in one of the best USL championship playoff games you'll ever see. And then on the 10th and final penalty kick, seals the victory in front of a huge partisan crowd.